Alright guys, hopefully you all can see me. Okay, so this is Diamond Slap tutorial number two, or more robot tutorial. Dime stopping, counteracting forces. So the other Dime Slap tutorial is review we went over Dime stopping, helps you to become more cleaner, and you know, you could be dancing and then it allows you, you know how hitting and popping is like you're usually on the beat, so it's like Dance stop allows you to hit like some of the other stuff that's you know in the song. So it's the very subtle stuff. Dance stop allows you to do bounces, bang, pow, bang. Pow. It allows you to stroll, take a bunch of other stuff that's very minuscule because it allows you to just be very clean. So that small detail, the the stuff in the song that you've always wanted to hit, um, dance stop will help you become cleaner in that. Um, I'm not, no, I'm still learning dime stopping. It's uh, very difficult. It takes lots of practice. Um, so basically what I'm sharing with you is stuff that I used to practice also, or used to since I've been playing more video games lately instead. But yeah, um, so we're gonna talk about counteracting forces. Basically, as an example, when you dime stop your arm, for example, in order for it to stop, you're, it's moving, one direction, so my arm's moving up, basically. In order for it to stop, I have to use a counteracting force going down. So that force comes from my joints. I'm using my joint to stop my arm. So when I move up and I stop, there's one force going up, which is the one that allows it to go up, and one force going down, which allows it to stop. So, like that. Um, for your arms, it uses your joints for, you know, I'm stopping this right here. It's, Joints also for your wrist, um, for your head, it's your neck. Um, body, your hip, the legs are still really hard. Legs are down, um, legs are just difficult. But so yeah, that's what counteracting forces is. You, you have to use the right amount of force. If you use too much force, it's gonna be sloppy, unless you wanna do that. Boing, boing, you know. But you have to use the right amount of force, you have to call it. Since I can't really tell you how much to use, you have to basically feel it for yourself because everyone's different, and especially when it comes to dancing. So you gotta call how much force you actually need to stop. And then depending on how much force you use, you can go for different kinds of effects. I mean, obviously if you're bouncing, you know, it's a whole lot different. So that's what counteracting forces is. In order to drill it, you just keep practicing, but it's it's not really something you can drill, it's like a concept that I'm putting in your head. That's what you gotta realize that it's part of dime stopping. Because dime stopping, you're moving and you stop. You move, stop, move, stop, move, stop, move, stop. So that's what you gotta realize is um, when you move, you're moving, you're you're using uh, momentum to go one direction or multiple directions, and then you have to use opposite forces in order to stop quickly. So that's basically it, the counteracting forces is just a concept and um, I hope you understand it. I uh, hope it wasn't too vague. I mean, it should be a pretty good concept to catch on to. It'll help you think about your dance stuff more because it is a, you know, a mechanic in popping. Um, let's see, some stuff that uh, people needed clarification for in the last tutorial was um, they asked if you're tensing during a uh, dance stop and then basically you have to tense, like you have to tense hard to be stiff. It doesn't look like I'm tensing, but I am. Um, it's part of counteracting forces. The more tenser you are, obviously, the weirder the stop is, unless you really are going for a boing kind of effect. But yeah, you tense yourself, but not so much that, um, well, you tense yourself to the point that you have to, you're, you're basically calling how tense you have to be. If you're tense enough that you wanna make a bounce, really hard stops, or tense enough so that it's just, you know, it's just subtle kinds of dime stops. Um, another tip, core, keep your core nice and stable. You know. The reason why you try to keep your core stable is it distributes all momentum in your body. When you're stopped quickly, momentum goes through your body because you know, like it's just in this upper portion right here because I'm stopping. 
you can't destroy or create um, energy, so it has to go somewhere. So the power helps distribute it. So if I'm stopping my hand, instead of just you know, instead of shaking a lot, if my core is focused, then it'll help this, it'll help it distribute throughout the rest of my body, so it doesn't just look so. Stuff like that. But that, that's counteracting forces and some various other tips that all people needed. So, practice.